Okay, so this is our vegetable spiralizer. So we've had a lot of people asking about the spiralizer. It comes with a tourney, and then there is a prong, so that way you can see how it digs in um, into your vegetables that you're going to be slicing or fruits. Um, there is a knob for turning to release your blade, and then your blade is in the back part here, and I'll show you how that works, but you have different blade settings on this. And then this is where it's going to be the spout where all of your vegetables come out, so I will show you that as well. So tonight for dinner, we're going to be whipping up some zucchini and squash, um, spaghetti squash tonight. And I decided to, to, uh, to do the zucchini in um, our, obviously our spiralizer. I'm going to show you the two different settings that you can use. Now, you'll notice that my um, zucchini is not super seedy. When you have a super seedy and really moist um, zucchini in the middle, sometimes this will just kind of grind down into it. So you want you don't need super large um, zucchinis. You know, that's not something that you need. And then you, of course, have the option if you wanted to peel your zucchini or not. Um, it will also come with a guard for you to put on here so that if you're not using it, you're not going to have to worry. Because inside there is actually a blade on here, which is like what makes like almost like a one inch ribbon um, cut for your zucchinis or vegetables. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, what are some things that Vanessa does cut, um, you know, with the veggie spiralizer? And I apologize, I just don't like this one little piece of zucchini right there. I want to get rid of that. So, um, things that I do, I obviously do zucchini, I do eggplant, you could do squash. Um, you could do, if you want to core an apple, you could core your apple and do your apple. Um, you could do potatoes, sweet potatoes. So there's all different things you could do with onion. Peppers, depending on the size of them, they also work. So you'll see how I dug that in there. And then I'm actually going to turn this so that you could see the spirals. You see them already coming out a little bit? So you're going to do this. And there you can see that we have our noodles. They are spiralizing, which are so super, super fun, especially for kids. You can make curly french fries. Um, but there are three different blade settings. So the blade setting that I have right now with my zucchini, this is called a, basically the spaghetti blade, I call it. And now you'll always have a little bit extra on the end, so you have to remember to remove this. It's usually about the size of a, a cucumber that you would usually slice a cucumber. Um, which also, you could actually do cucumbers on this, I wasn't even thinking, but yes, you could do cucumbers. But you'll always have a little bit le extra left over. I always just tell everybody that this is for you to munch on. It's your little snack for working so hard spiralizing. This does come off also, so it does, your whole spiralizer will come apart for you. Um, but you could see all these beautiful spirals that we have here, um, which are a whole lot of fun for us when we're eating um, spaghetti. It's a fun way for you to incorporate things so that way your kids eat vegetables also. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to remove the blade. So when you go to remove your blade or to add your blade, you want to always put that blade cover back on. The reason being is when you put your blade cover on, it helps your blade, um, for your blade basically for you to set it in place so that it doesn't wiggle on you when you're trying to slice things. Now, I always put it on also when I take it off just because I feel like it's easier to pull out and I have to, don't have to worry about, um, you know, causing basically damage to my blade. So let me just wipe this off because of course there's zucchini juices and guts on here. But I wanted to show you that when you do this um, with your zucchini or anything, you see how there are um, smaller. So this is like more like an angel hair blade. And then, of course, this side would be more like your spaghetti blade. And then I told you, you could actually just use the blade that's actually um, inside here, which is what I'm going to do right now for you. So give me one second here. Let me put this piece of zucchini on. Oh, this is a big mac daddy of one. Let me trim him down a little bit. And usually excess pieces I have, I kind of just cut up and add to whatever I'm cooking anyway, so it's not really a big deal if I have a little bit of extra. Um, because it's zucchini, and zucchini will cook rather quickly for you. Now, if you have a rock crock, your zucchini, you could basically make a ton of zucchini. You probably cut up probably four or even six of them, and you could probably have dinner done in about ten minutes if you're doing zucchini spaghetti. Um, I like this kind of cut. Well, actually, let me keep going here so that way you can see how it goes. So, do you see how my, my cut now is obviously different in size? It's more like a one-inch um, cut, and you can see that it is in strands. Now, of course, I just ripped that apart, but this is the cut I like to use when I make zucchini lasagna. I like to do lasagna with that um, or any type of veggie lasagna. And then, of course, we have different recipes with Alfredo sauce and 
you know, depending on what you what you prefer, what your preference is as far as the thickness and size. And again, like I said to you, you have that extra piece. So this is a little bit about our veggie spiralizer. Super, super fun to use. Great tool in the kitchen. Definitely a great way. Peel this up, sneak it in, like I said, for kids. Um, and it's a whole lot of fun. Another thing I really like to do is I love to actually... I'm just going to give you a wave. Um, I love to actually do apples, and then you could crisp them up on a stone, and you could add them to ice cream as well. So there you have it, folks. That is our veggie spiralizer. But I just kind of wanted to give you a quick little view of what it looks like and how it works.